going to ask a question about political interference in the AHS to the Energy Minister, but I think he just stuck it. Um, yesterday, the Alberta Health Services Board Chair said that he's tired of too much political interference in the health system. The minister interferes when it suits him and hides behind the AHS when that suits him. With the Ministry of Health and Alberta Health Services, we get double the bureaucracy and no accountability. My question is to the health minister. Will he reduce waste, confusion, duplication and mismanagement and abolish Alberta Health Services? Well, Mr. Speaker, we will not abolish Alberta Health Services. We will not, we will not uh, abandon uh, what is a model that is, in fact, leading the country, uh, where we have assembled all of the health resources in the province under a single authority, and we are receiving savings and improvements in quality of care that are unparalleled across this country. Mr. Speaker, the role of a delegated uh, regional health authority is very clear. It is to operate the deliver delivery system under the supervision of government. The Alberta Health Services Board Chair understands the accountability of the board to government. Uh, we have an excellent working relationship, and I commend him for being willing to take risks and exercise leadership to improve health care. Yeah. Honourable right, member. Thank you very much. Mr. Speaker, this PC government told Albertans that Alberta Health Services would reduce administrative costs. But administrative costs continue to skyrocket, another 21% in the AHS budget for this fiscal year. The AHS board has said, I believe, quote, administratively we have a terrible reputation. With outrageous executive salaries, expense scandals and bureaucratic duplication, it's no wonder. Will the minister please stop creating confusion and wasting money and abolish AHS? Mr. Speaker, this, uh, this question around administrative uh, expenses was asked and answered earlier in the week. Mr. Speaker, as Alberta Health Services has said, and I will reiterate, they have changed the categorization of administrative uh, services in their budget. They have added additional line items to administration that were not formerly there for the purpose of allowing Alberta to be compared directly with other provinces according to the Canadian Institute for Health Information. That's transparency, Mr. Speaker, and that should be commended. Honourable Member. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Well, this Tory government has time and again organized and reorganized and reorganized our health system. Administrative chaos, escalating operational costs, and systematic inefficiencies have plagued the AHS from the beginning. And it's far from being transparent because we don't have adequate oversight over $14 billion in this legislature that is spent by AHS. Even the AHS board chair admits a major managerial overhaul is needed. What will it take for the minister to finally admit that the creation of AHS was a failure and get rid of it? the opportunities that we have as elected officials is to travel the province and talk to people that work in our health care system, whether they're doctors, nurses, or perhaps even partnering with pharmacists, Mr. Speaker. And one of the things that I certainly have heard and learned in the last three years as I talk to health care professionals across this province is whatever you do, please don't dismantle Alberta Health Services, because Alberta Health Services is a model that is cutting edge in this country. It was innovative, it brought change, and Mr. Speaker, it is now delivering the health services that not only Albertans need, but that health care providers want to provide in the context that they do, Mr. Speaker, and that's why we won't abolish Alberta Health Services.